So number one, what or how does the organization measure success of their high performance program? So let's look at AFL clubs, for example. It could be the head coach and the coaching panel and the leaders of the football club want the fittest and strongest and most physical, robust squad to give themselves the best chance to succeed for the upcoming season. In that pursuit, they're willing to lose a a few to injury along the way. Obviously, not hopefully no significant injuries, but essentially to get those rewards for building robustness, we need to put in a high amount of stress, high amount of fatigue to saturate the system. And they're aware that that comes with a little bit more risk. So a good thing to know. Why is this role vacant? So trying to get a better indication. More often than not, you'll be able to find this out through your own networks, asking around. Why did the person leave? Did they get promoted elsewhere? Did they lose their role? Has there been a structural change in the department where there's perhaps there was four physios and only two S&Cs. Now there's three physios, three strength and conditioning coaches. So getting an understanding of any change in the department that may have taken place or perhaps if someone did get sacked, asking some questions on you know, for what reason because obviously there's some great learnings there for yourself to not replicate the same mistakes that they made and to be able to learn from their mistakes. Question number seven, how involved are the coaching staff in the physical prep program? So the answer could be the high performance manager liaises with the the coaching team. And unless there's questions from either the coaches to the rest of the high performance team or questions from the high performance team to the coaches, then there's very little involvement. So example there could be Obviously, the high performance managers organizing the conditioning sessions, warm ups, and how the session is going to flow, how everything fits together in the training session. But the reconditioning staff may want to catch up with the lines coaches to discuss some recon skills that one of their athletes could be doing that day. So, the reconditioning staff, their role is to understand the pathology and what the athlete can and can't do, where the coach can give a bit of indication on returning them to performance. How does the organization manage conflict with amongst staff, co- coaches, and players? Uh, this is interesting why it's not one I've asked in the past, um, but I can understand if you've worked in an environment where um, you've had trouble in this space, you could easily be interested in how the club uh, deals with conflict. So if that's something that concerns you, then absolutely ask the question. And then number 10, what is the timetable for making a decision? What are the next steps? So obviously you want to understand if this is interview two or is there going to be another interview to give yourself a bit of an idea to prepare yourself for the next step, but also give an idea of timeframes. Perhaps you're going for a couple other roles and you're trying to get an indication on if you need to move house, whatever it might be, organize your current workplace that you're working with if you're already employed. So asking that question just gives you a bit of an idea of, is this going to be another three weeks? Is it going to be, the decision's going to be in the next week? So forth.